Welcome. Ooh. Welcome, guys. You. Hello. Thank you for joining us in the flats. Thank you for having us. It's been, yeah, uh, big it's been a while. We've been trying to get you guys in, so it's cool to have <laughs> you. There's been lots of talk about you guys, so very keen. Man, that's crazy. Yeah. Quickly, before we start, I just got to thank this new sponsor. We got Capital Brewing coming in to support the channel. You. And... Uh, They've given us a promo code so you can go get 10% off oh, at yeah. capitalbrewing.co. Legends. For wow. uh, all your beers and merch needs. Legends. M- m- more on that later. But um, yeah, guys, it's been awesome to, awesome to have you in. What's been going on? A few, few, few new songs coming out, a few launches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, been, it's yeah. been a little, little busy period, mm-hmm. but it's been fun. Yeah. It's been fun. Uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. How are you doing, Kobe? Yeah, man, dude, same. It's uh, you know, it's been pretty busy, but uh, I've I've just been enjoying the last yeah. last few months. It's been, it's been fun. quite hectic. Yeah, our lives have sort of intertwined a little bit. Yeah, they over are these, <laughs> over these past couple of months, which been. is beautiful. It's a good combination you've got here. Yeah, it's <laughs> great, man. How so? How so? Uh, well, um, for those of you who don't know, I play in a band called Archie. You. Um, and we just released a song called Greener, uh, and we did a music video for it, and this guy was the lead in the video uh, <laughs> and it was so much fun to make and the acting chops going oh yeah, no man. <laughs> what can't he do goodness guys i look <laughs> i i at first i was very like really like super sus about when mm. i think it might have been um uh zandy who might have asked mm. me and i was like why did i get me to do the video and i was just really confused and then um you know got to meet all the boys um and like, dude, the experience was just so fun. Just, uh, yeah. yeah, made so many good memories. And I feel the, the same, video, The video came out really great as well. Yeah, I'm really happy yeah. with it. Oh, oh look at him, he's quick. Whoa. He's quick. Whoa. Yeah, that's it. Man, it's got Oh, that's stream. me. That's dope. Quick shout out to, yeah, quick shout out to Yeah, me, me the man. Me and Harry. Harry oh. Chalker. Those two. It, yeah. Mm. Such a banger. Oh, and a great you, clip. Great thank clip. you, man. Yeah, this is really cool. Look at you go, bro. <laughs> You're so cute in this video. <laughs> no, Every time I show it to someone, oh, they're like, who's he? He's so cute. <laughs> oh, man. It was, oh, I just had such a blast. Like, it was. this was kind of like my first, you know, proper, I guess, acting experience yeah, yeah, when it yeah. comes to like being filmed and stuff. And I was like, really just, you know, we had really good guidance from the director. And oh, yeah, and this shot here, this shot was cold. Oh, yeah. I Let's mean, see, all Grant, the shots Grant are cold. Even look like he's freezing, but he's Poor freezing. Poor Zandy. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, no, we were on the top of a hill and we were up there pretty much all day and it was just so cold, so cold. Kobe was hiding in the bass drum case. <laughs> yeah. um, but, you know, that's, that's, that's the dedication, yeah? Yeah, man. Poor, poor, Beauty is pain. <laughs> At least Grant was wearing, like, a turtleneck. Poor Zandy, the drummer. <laughs> the, drum, the drummer's in, like, a T-shirt, like a polo the whole time, and he's, like, every time we, like, in between shots, he would go grab his jacket and yep. then yep. <laughs> huddle up. I lost you for a bit. I was like, where did Kobe go? Yeah. I didn't know you were in the bass drum case. Yeah, yeah. I was like, where is Kobe? And then he pops up and spooked me. It was so comfy. This shot was also cold. Mm. We got it in the nick of time because it started to really bucket down yeah, after that. Right. Um but through the magic, the magic of cinematography, it looks, looks like a decent day on the beach. Oh, it does. Yeah. Greener. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> like, <I love> that. <laughs> That's one of my favorite bits of the whole clip because yeah, yeah. I had no idea that was coming when I saw it. I was like, that is so classy. The, the, the yellow the text too. Yeah. It's <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, crack up. So and did you draw from some past experiences with this? Kobe, like your 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 working life, or yeah, did you have to get into yeah, man. Oh, dude, man, the office acting. job, the office job, really gets stressful sometimes. <laughs> you know, as a musician, um, I find that you know doing this stuff is just uh, just so inspiring. Especially like, I think it's just kind of funny because the main character kind of just wants to get out mm. and just not worry about his job and do actually what he wants. Yeah. Um. So it's kind of like a little <laughs> soft, like little soft, I guess, social commentary on what. You know, some people want to do and follow their follow their creative passions. Totally. So, um, I guess yeah, for me, I was just, just I guess, channeling a bit of that and yeah, getting some of that excitement and especially when running running to the party, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's gonna ready be a great party. <laughs> Archie's playing. We there was a couple should... of shots where <laughs> yeah. you were running to the party. <laughs> I wish I had those. Yeah, running to the party and Kobe just like 
<laughs> smashed <laughs> straight up. He's shit. It oh, we so should have um. Oh, we should have we should have got that on YouTube or something. Oh, oh, oh so, no, they, they just a video of me I stacking saw those yeah. on YouTube <laughs> or on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stories live, live. Uh, there was a lot yeah, of falling yeah. happening for this video. <laughs> Harry on the camera oh. had to run back, <laughs> and he was just like legging it without even looking. He took a couple of tumbles. Live, um, live fell as well. The bass guitarist. Yeah, and that's the uh, Spotify canvas video for mm -hmm. our song. What <laughs> <laughs> live falling over? Uh, she's the contact queen, though. Uh, mm. We got yeah, Lucy, Lucy Sugarman eating chips. Yeah, 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 yeah. a few little cameos yeah. in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that was awesome. that was too funny. We had to have a shot of that. Yeah. We had to have a shot of that. It's so Lucy. Uh, yeah, <laughs> man. That was a f that was a fun time. That was mm. fun. Thank you for being a part of it. Oh me, no, worries. thanks for having me. Oh man, it was a it treat. Was, uh, yeah, yeah, camera really so well. good. Thank you, bro. That means a lot yeah. from you, man. I'm a, I'm a big fan of your work. Oh, thank you. All thank the Kirk you. stuff is awesome. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll have to do some more stuff soon. Mm. We are working on some stuff with Kirk. So, beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And um, what else? How did the launch go of the, with the show? Was that a first time back on stage in a while? Um, we've been playing a, a fair bit, um, but we took a bit of a pause before the show. Um, and... Last minute, things changed. Obviously, Sydney went into what they're still in now. Um, you know, thinking of all the homies in Sydney right now. Yeah. Mm. Um, so lucky to be able to put on a show. Um, and so lucky that we know a guy that we can just call up last minute <laughs> to come and support us. Oh. So, uh, yeah. We felt oh, like right. it, so the, the yeah, original us, act. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So um, um, one of the supports from Sydney, a band called Last Thursday, super awesome. Um, obviously, couldn't make it. Um, so who better to call than the man, <laughs> the myth, the legend, Kobe? And he oh. came through, played a beautiful set, oh, and thanks, man. Um, yeah, it was such a uh, playing shows like that where you put a lot of effort into into making sure they're a good show, and you mm. think about every avenue. Um, the reward at the end is uh, unparalleled to anything else. Like it was just such a fun night. Um, uh, spirits were high, smiles mm. were, you know. For There's sure. so many smiles, so many yeah. people too. It was it was crazy, and it's such a blessing that we yeah. get to. We're lucky we can still do, do it here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People are quite hyped just to go to live music. It's mm. so sick. It's pretty interesting. It's so mm. sick. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was it was a really cold night, and 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 people turned up, which is oh. always a blessing. Just and then we turned up after. Yeah, yeah. it was fun. <laughs> such yeah. good vibes, man. Yeah. And it seems like you're often the one to be called on, KB. <laughs> you're, 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 you're popping up in a lot of oh. a lot of. Uh, vids and bands and everything around town. Yeah, look, I um, I don't know what to say about that. I, I guess maybe I've just been, maybe I've just been bugging everyone like, yeah, you want to get me on? Or maybe I've just been hanging that out with a bad smell. <laughs> no, no, I but, can um, tell you what it is. He's a beautiful man no, no, stop. <laughs> and he can do everything. <laughs> uh, uh, he's being too kind, being too kind. Um, yeah, look, I think it's just been, I think just, I've just been really blessed to have all these opportunities. Um, I think... In Canberra, especially, it's quite everyone's kind of close and tight knit. Mm. Yeah. So it's really lovely to just just be able to meet people through connections and totally. Um, and then he's one of yeah. my favorites. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> Emergent sessions. Shout out Harry Chopper again. This Shout is out fun. Keo, the crew. How good is Lucy? Lucy? And of course, live in the back as well. Once again, Harry Chopper. Yeah, Harry Chopper. <laughs> Such a good job on this. Yeah, it's beautiful. Actually, I've got a funny story to tell about this. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> go, so go I, on. I hope I hope um Harry doesn't mind me telling this, but I would. So we, we did like probably a few like full takes of this. Yeah. Um, which was kind of nice because we didn't do it too many times. Yeah. Um, so we still captured a lot of the energy, but I did this one really good take that I was super happy with. I mm. was like, oh guys, that's the one. Like I, I fully <laughs> put my guitar. I put my guitar off. Like sat down on the couch and I was like. I'm yes. done. <laughs> and then yeah. Harry goes, Harry goes, Kobe, oh, I missed something up with the camera. Could we do could we do it again? And I was like, Are you serious? <laughs> I, I just nailed that, man. Come on. And so, <laughs> so like on this one, I made like this little tiny, little, tiny mistake that I was mm. like super just like oh, I was like hung up on. And um Harry was like, No, 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 the video looked really good, man. <laughs> so I had like a little mental breakdown on <laughs> on the set <laughs> just because I, I was having like a little little fit just because I couldn't get my one chord right. Yeah. Uh, it was really funny. But um, Diva coming out of <laughs> yeah. yeah, just just I'm so yeah, I'm so annoying on when we do videos, but Lucy really killed this one. Yeah, she did. Yeah. She yeah. is Canberra Queen. And the um arrangement was that that was kind of mixed up a little bit for this one. Was that part, yeah. of, part of your input? Yeah, that was <laughs> – yeah, that was pretty much just, I guess, me going like, 
oh, why, why don't we just add all these random chords? Um, <laughs> <laughs> and like, I think, well, me and Lucy have played enough like for a long time. So like, well, yeah. not, not super long, but like we played enough together where she's like D learned D how D. to put up with me yeah. and all of my little things. So I told Liv before, I was like, hey, we should do this like chromatic ascending thing in the bridge. And she was like, like it was like two minutes before and I was like, come on, let's just do it. <laughs> and she was like, all right, fine. So we, if there's anybody yeah. that can pull that off, it's Liv. Oh, it's so. Liv, yeah. She's, she's incredible. So yeah, so we did, we did kind of, uh, I guess you could say, reharmonized a bit of the chords for that one. Um, but yeah, it's. I think it sounds pretty. Um, pretty what nice. a track! Yeah, yeah a great track. track. Yeah, great track. Man, Canberra makes some seriously mm. good music. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah. It is such a privilege to be in this scene. Um, such a privilege, you know, amongst people like Lucy and mm. and yourself, brother. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, it and it, it seems like you guys are all like really working together. Like it's a lot of yeah. collaboration happening. That's the coolest like, thing about know, the Canberra scene. What do you think that is? Yeah, it's 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 small. It's intimate. Everybody knows each other. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, since it's small, everyone has the room to be able to do what they want to do. There's nobody trying to overlap and there's no, like, overlapping of sound. Everyone's unique. Mm -hmm. Everyone's on their own journey. And I feel like Canberra is the best place to discover your sound and um, really work out some things on stage as well because you have the support of everybody in the scene. Mm. Um, but you're also doing your unique thing. Um, man, there's, there's no other place like Canberra. Uh, I say that having not having been a lot of places, <laughs> but <laughs> no, you're right. I say that with confidence though. Super there's no unique. other place like Canberra. It's, it's, yeah. it's a beautiful energy that we have here in the scene. Um, and as Canberra grows, the scene will grow and mm. there'll be more venues for us to play in and, you know, bigger crowds to play to. True, true. It's, um, it's a beautiful place to, to start a career in music. For yeah. sure. I think collaborating is just... Yeah also just such do you a, feel the same way yeah yeah, yeah dude like i don't know for me i feel like collaborating is like has is almost like the new way that people like have kind of grown off of each other which mm. is really nice instead of kind of just building your own stuff and i guess releasing and marketing your own you, you know yourself just especially in the last like four or five years collaborating has just been such a good way to like just help it help each other out in general mm. totally. which is really nice yeah i think it's really good Good opportunity for everyone. Your dream collaboration, Kobe. Mm. Who would it be? Mm. That's a tough one. I would say. <laughs> can, I, can I can I choose two? <laughs> can I can I guess the two? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can I guess the two? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so number one, it's got to be Charlie Puth. Yeah. <laughs> it's got to be Charlie Puth. That's one. <laughs> How did you know? How did you uh, know that? Because you are Charlie. Do Puth. I just? <laughs> do uh, I, do and I then number two that? is Jacob Collier. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> did I, I nail it? Yeah, you nailed yeah, it. Yeah, I was cool. literally thinking. I was like. I was like, it has to be Charlie Puth and Jake Collier. And then I was like, can I choose two? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> this, guy, this guy knows yeah, me so well. Wow. Yeah. D those two would be dream collaborations. For me. <laughs> just because like, oh, they're both just so great. They are. And like, like Charlie Puth, man. Like, I watched a uh, just, video on Charlie Puth uh, today. Mm -hmm. Just like random, yeah. random funny Charlie Puth moments. Uh, like Epic Charlie Puth moments. <laughs> yeah. tw 2010 uh, on YouTube. And uh it's always it's always oh, mind blowing to yeah, see man. how his brain works, but I see a lot of similarities in the things that he, you know, talks about, and um, you know, and the things that you talk about oh. too. The way that you think about music is almost in a mm. similar sort of way. Yeah. Oh, thanks, man. Well, I, it's yeah. He's just. I guess maybe he's just someone I just identify with a lot. Mm. Just really nice to. Also, I love the, just the way he like just sneaks all these little jazz chords mm. into his pop bangers. Yeah. Like, yeah. Totally. Like no, I don't think can't think of many other pop musicians who who can like weave those chords in without making the song yeah. feel like it's totally. super like you know jazzy or yeah. too heavy or whatever um as jake collier is quite the opposite <laughs> 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 jake, i don't know if you if you listen to jake Collier, but he's completely opposite um he like he makes everything insanely com complicated yeah but it's that's kind of like the nice little it's a, little it's a joy to yeah, listen to. Yeah. It throws you around challenge. a fair bit. But it feels yeah. like when you're listening, you're, you're solving a math equation as you're, you're listening. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe for you, I'm sitting there going, "What is happening um, right now?" It's so good. Yeah. What about yourself? What what, what are your dream collabs? Oh man, dream collabs. Uh, man, that's a hard question. <laughs> Can I pick two? Uh, <laughs> yeah, you can pick two. I know. I feel like locally, there's so uh -huh. many oh, that I'd love sure. to collaborate with. Like Kirk is the man. Mm -hmm. He's the G. Uh, I'm a massive fan of his music. Hope Wilkins is killing it right now. Mm. She's got some amazing tracks on the way. He was lucky True. enough to be 
in the studio helping track one of the new ones oh, and it sounds incredible nice. um so oh, i mean i want to collaborate with everybody <laughs> uh, yeah. but, but oh man big time big time i'm probably gonna say at the moment jungle giants just Ooh, because yeah. i've been listening to their new album nice. and it's been great um and they have such a fun energy oh about them, some, oh, six songs yeah some tight stuff there Nice. Definitely. Jungle Giants is a good choice. Jungle Giants is cool. Keep it Australian. <laughs> yeah. I think I think collaborating with Cameron Rouse is yeah definitely something I, like I just yeah. You every, already have everybody, right. Everybody. You got that song with Hades. Yeah. Oh, Hades is a great one to mention. He's yeah. a very talented, gifted rapper. The G. Um, and he's just he loves he loves making beats as well, which is awesome. Um, yeah. So that was really cool to do a song with him. Um, yeah. It was really yeah really awesome to work with him. I actually sent him I sent him the track and. It was like maybe like twelve thirty a.m. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> where all was, the productive stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah, all yeah. the good stuff happens at night. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. I was like, hey man, I just emailed him. I was like, was wondering if you wanted to maybe hop on this on this track. If you have any ideas, whatever, just let me know. Mm. And then he sends me his verse like literally two hours later. I was asleep, but I saw it in the morning. And he sends me his verse, man. and it's already like recorded, written, like everything's perfect. He just sends me the whole verse and I just drop and it in. Done. And I was done. Like, Lodge to Spotify like, the next day. Yeah, literally. It was like so easy. <laughs> and I was like, man, that guy has an incredible work ethic. Yeah. Like I never like met like a local, like, you know, rapper who just oh, yeah. works that hard and that fast. Getting in my oh, ears now. Oh. Hey. Nice. Thank you so much for playing this. <laughs> you so feel, free sweet, to, feel free to stream this on Spotify, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing the self promo. This camera, this, this, this camera. camera. <laughs> Get on your phones right now. Um, but yeah, no, this was a really fun song to do. Um, and yeah, I thought he killed the rap, man. His rap is so funny. Oh man, seeing it live too <laughs> was beautiful. Yeah, that was a beautiful show. Yeah, that thanks, you played, man. man. Oh, cheers. Yeah, that was that was really fun. Um, yeah, I actually wanted I want to do more forms of the song. With him, because yeah, I think totally. it's a really fun one to jam to. Um, Get the collab album. Oh, we have to. We have to. Um, yeah, huh. dude, this that is... was a gang gang show. Yeah, yeah, that was. Yeah, it's a beautiful show. Gang gang is. Beautiful. That's another one of the really venues nice. that seem to be really doing a lot. Yeah, for locals. Yeah, but... it's awesome what they're doing. And it's good that they got. Um, I think they might have received that a part of the. The grant, um, yeah, 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 grant, but yeah, yeah. Of funding, yeah. Good funding, which is awesome because I think grant. they definitely deserve. You know, they've been doing, doing so much hard work. Absolutely. So it's going to be good to see them grow. And do you think there is enough spaces in Canberra for for bands of all sizes? I or do you would think it's say that, that there needs? is enough, but there could be more. Mm. Yeah, like we can still do what we do, but um. You know, it seems uh, to be like a little bit of a hole in that middle. Yeah. Like there's a big venues, but nothing like the the mid size stuff. That's yeah. a really good point. Yeah. It's um it feels yeah, that's it's good because it feels like like there's all these really nice warm venues that are very mm. you know, very, very like I guess more on the smaller side, but yeah. you can still get really nice like vibes there. Absolutely. But then when you sometimes you want to step it up a bit and then it's just like, oh, like Canberra Theatre. Yeah. <laughs> but it's yeah. like way too massive. <laughs> yeah. But then it's like, I don't know, obviously there's other, there's obviously other, you know, other, other venues as well, but yeah, it's you're right. I think in the sense that AI it's not really. stadium. That's where you got to dream. <laughs> yeah. Big <Yeah>. foot. But... <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that's tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> Get some stadio, stadium shows going. No, but yeah, there's like, I think you're right. There's a real need for like, you know, medium sized venues where. Totally. Where you can fit a bit more in. Yeah. But I guess with COVID, in the city you know, too. I feel like Camp Barons mm. love the city. Uh, yeah, they, love, we don't they love going far. to the city yeah. and, um, you know, getting them out to a show that's not in the city is sometimes a bit difficult. True, true. Mm. Um, but, you know, I say that being a Camp Baron <laughs> who likes to be in the city as yeah. well. Yeah. So. yeah. Just yeah. nice and central. It is. It is because, mm. you know, it unlocks so many possibilities for what you can do afterwards. And, yeah. You know, it's a good meeting spot. That's the one thing I like about Canberra nightlife is like if there's something on in the city, mm. everyone can go there you know, meet together in the one spot. Like there's not too many yeah. hubs at the moment. Like mm. if ever if someone's going out to, you know, party, like everybody's going to be in the mm. same spot. Whereas like you go out in Sydney and you, you see one mate at a bar and then you get a cab <laughs> for two hours. <laughs> yeah, to travel across. Yeah. That. yeah, that's that's true. I like how everything's kind of kind of close together. And Man, camera's beautiful. Yeah. I, I spent so many years of my childhood 
hating Canberra, being really? like, Canberra is such a hole. That's what I used to say <laughs> as, a, as a kid. You grew we, up here in Canberra? Yeah, 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 I've been here my whole life. Yeah. Um, and it's mm. been an absolute treat. I, I love Canberra. It's mm. so close to the coast. Um, True. You know, living is easy here. I remember, didn't we get like, what, like the most livable city or something? Yeah, some, wasn't mm. that a few years ago? I remember yeah. it was like, what, 2016? <clears throat> something like that. Oh, That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's funny because you kind of grow into the, the city like, when you're young, you're like, oh, this place sucks. But then <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, yeah. you start liking easy shit and yeah. n- not driving in traffic. Totally. And, like, you just like grow into it. Yeah. That's a good point, yeah. There's a lot of shit that I hated on as a kid for no reason, <laughs> just because I was a kid. So Yeah, yeah. And also everything felt super. I felt like camera felt really big when I was a kid. Yeah. Like yeah. you've been driving, like driving from Togonong and then driving to Belconnen was like, Oh my gosh, oh, Belconnen feels like a different yeah. country. <laughs> Sometimes I still think that way. And I'm like, no. Yeah, yeah. It's a privilege to be able to drive from no, exactly. one side of camera to the other in Less half than an hour. hour. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. Like, that's crazy. It's true. But yeah. then you like go to Gungahl and you're like, oh, this just doesn't feel like Canberra. You know? Yeah, it's wild. I mean, I'm going to get shade from Gungahl and people now. <laughs> 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 I'm going to get some, some people in the comments. I, I love Gungahl. I'm sorry. I, it just feels like a logo city. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, you're going to have some protests at the next show. Yep. <laughs> sure. Hey, as long as they come to the show and buy the ticket. <laughs> they're, they're, no, I'll just have the show in Togonok. One day they'll be able to catch the light rail all the true, way True, true. Yeah. Big plans for that. Yeah. So, Gabby, did, you grew up in Canberra too. Yeah, and I did. you were very much part of a musical family. Yes, I was. And <laughs> performing from a very young age, it seems like. What was that like growing up? Yeah, look, I had... um. That. I was lucky enough to grow up with two older siblings who were, you know, quite heavily involved in music at a young age as well. So um, my dad actually was an acapella singer and he used to sing in like a, like an acapella gospel group and um, they were called the Brothers. Some people who are kind of in that scene might know mm. them even today, but um, he was really, it was really good to have him as like a, as a parent, especially because he was always kind of, you know, pushing us in the right direction when it came to the music and stuff. Um yeah, and then I just grew up singing with my brother and sister for ages, and then we just decided to, you know, start our own little family band. Mm. So that was really nice to have. Um, and I think the importance of songwriting as well. That's yeah, what totally. I. That's especially what I learned. Um, and yeah, it was just really nice to have two older siblings that were like passing on all their knowledge to me, um, which is I'm really really fortunate to have. It's beautiful. Man. So um, yeah, we used to like write songs, try and write songs like at least every week ish. That's wicked. Um, and then we get together on Friday nights and sit down <laughs> together as a family and be like, all right, Kobe, show, show us your song. <laughs> it was kind of like, <laughs> it was kind of like a really, it was, it was really nice, but it was like sometimes like you'd be really nerve wracking because you'd be like, on like you'd be in the middle of school on Friday, like pull, pull, <laughs> <laughs> pulling out a notebook, <laughs> trying to write lyrics for your song. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that just it, being in that environment was really nice. Um, yeah. It and it's like the voice family. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, yeah, it was, it was good fun. And, I, we we still do gigs now as well together and um, yeah. yeah really really awesome we mainly just play like some cover gigs around um, around town and stuff but um yeah that's 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 been really good to have especially um especially like at such a young age as well yeah yeah what sort of music did you listen to as a kid or did your Ooh. parents put on when oh dude I think I can remember like starting with like Michael Jackson yeah my dad loved playing Michael Jackson around yeah um. People like Stevie Wonder. Of course. Um, he used to play some some like nineties R and B too. So yeah. like Boys to Men. Oh yeah. Just like all the harmonies. <laughs> um and then listen to a bit of we also listened to a bit of classical as well. I think that that kind of helped my ear a bit. Um, even though I don't really play classical music that much nowadays, but um it was yeah, he used to play that when we were really young. And then I wanna say some gospel stuff. I don't know if you guys have heard Take Six, it's like a yeah, gospel yeah, 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 group. yeah, they've got some tight harmonies. Absolutely. Um, so yeah, just like I guess, I guess some like some a lot of old school stuff. I would say. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then when we were growing up, you know, a bit of Bruno Mars, a bit of oh yeah, of course, <laughs> a bit of, bit of this and that, a bit of Robbie Williams. <laughs> you know, just got to have the whole range there. Yeah, man, I can hear it all in your music <laughs> yeah. and the Thanks, way that man. you play, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like yeah, it's like you can't really choose what you're influenced by. You're just influenced by everything totally. that you hear. So it's really nice to to have that. Yeah. What about your parents? What would what, what you listen to? Uh, I was not really the, the same. I didn't really have a musical family. Yeah. Um, my mom could sing beautifully. So oh, could nice. my sister. Um, 
But um, apart from that, like there wasn't too much of actual playing of music cool. around. Gotcha. Um, but um, they were big U2 fans. Oh. Dad loves Duran Duran and, and Bread. Oh, yes. Um, all the classics. Oh, I love Bread. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, I music for me, I wasn't, I wasn't really huge into it as a kid. Like mm. I've always loved it, but I didn't think it was going to be the thing that I did. Mm. Um, because for me... Sport was everything. Rugby yeah. was everything for so long. Gotcha. Um, and then that sort of changed when I decided I wanted to do the school musical. Um, and I had to give up playing rugby for the first couple of rounds because I had to be in the musical. Um, wow. So I, copped, like I a, copped it quite <laughs> a bit from the rugby yeah, boys. Yeah. And how old were you then? Uh, that would have been uh, year 11 at school. Wow. Yeah. No way. Yeah. Jeez, um, man. But I was, I mean, I, I'd been interested in music before and, mm -hmm. you know, I joined choirs and didn't tell anybody that I was in the choir. Because <laughs> it was weird it to be. Sounds like an episode of Glee or something. <laughs> like <that. Yeah. laughs> You're like Finn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, um, I mean, I guess. I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful that I had enough people in mm -hmm. my life to push me in, in the right direction because right now it's just obvious that music is the thing that yeah. I want to do forever. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm grateful that I found my way eventually. Yeah. Um, but obviously very jealous of the environment that you were raised in. Of oh, dude. People no. playing and singing and making you write a song a week, man. <laughs> I, <laughs> Just think about how good my songs would be if I made no, a song a week. That's stuff. You're so talented. I Maybe I feel like with me, it's like I would have no excuse to not do music. Yeah. <laughs> if I went and just decided to be like, become a lawyer, everyone would be like, what are you doing, <laughs> man? Like, um, no, but that's, that's awesome to hear, though. That's, yeah. I can't believe you, like, you, I guess, had... Like, an, like sort of an interest, but then you only yeah. decided that late I mean, that you wanted to like, do. I started playing in a band in maybe early, like, year nine, ten, and that was just like a fun thing to yeah. do. Harry was in the band. Oh, Harry no way, Chalker. Harry Chalker. Yeah, he played guitar <laughs> in it. Actually, this is a funny story. I only just we, we get Just before we go too far, we're getting a few <laughs> Troy Bolton comments oh, in, no. the, in the <laughs> chat. Yeah. Is that, who's dropping Troy Bolton in the that, chat? Uh, is that one of our friends? Famous. Um, oh, no. From the high school music, yeah, the legend. Oh, the legend. right, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's you. Olivia. That's you. <laughs> 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 nice. And D. Oh, yeah. man, that's so good. <laughs> that's so good. Yeah, <laughs> far out. <laughs> yeah, the first band I was ever in was yeah. called Nepal. Oh, um, shout out to all the boys. <laughs> but um, I was applying for this thing recently where I needed to see like one of where one of my first performances was. Mm -hmm. So I went on Facebook and I, I went digging um, and I was like, I've got to find it in here. I found it. It was an event called pop up live. Um, don't know if anyone listening was there. It was dope. <laughs> uh, but I found a list of all the acts that played uh -huh. uh, that night um, and me having no idea about anything at the time. Uh, we were just fortunate to be there. Uh, mm -hmm. I look at the list and uh, a young Genesis Awusu no is way. on the list. So I oh, uh, don't mean to flex, but <laughs> <You> play <laughs> no, I played the show with the man, the myth, the legend. Um, oh my goodness. Wow. Yeah, uh, that, so was a, that was a really neat discovery like two nights ago in bed, just being like, really? oh my. You didn't even know it. I well. had no idea. Damn. I had no idea at that point in time that he would turn out to oh. be the, the genius that he is. I mean, him, him, and, him and Kojo, man. Beautiful him and Kojo songs. just... Yeah, I think I had heard of them growing up in high school, maybe because mm. a few of my older mates had seen him play like transit and stuff, which yeah. is really cool. Yeah, um, yeah, those guys have just been working hard for so yeah. long. So yeah, they really deserve all the success as well. You best believe I screenshotted that set list. And, Did you? Yeah, uh, <laughs> and put it on the fridge. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Yeah. How good is Genesis' new album? Crazy. Uh, oh, so, so good. good. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Nice. And the visuals too. The visuals yeah. are nuts. Yeah. Nuts. The gold music video is insane. Mm. Um, everything he does, everything he touches mm. is, is gold. Just yeah, magic. I love all of his just creative concepts as well. Totally. All the motifs in his in his songwriting. Totally. Just, mm, so good. Are we going to see some Kobe vids? Kobe. <laughs> Any time soon? <laughs> oh, actually, um, I do, I guess, have a bit of a... A teaser, not not, not not to show yeah, you guys, yeah, but like plug it just to plug real quick. I want to get the song out towards maybe the end of the year. Mm -hmm. Um, that will be being directed by me and oh, being filmed beautiful. by Harry. That's um, awesome. so the same guys who did the Green Music video, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
So you guys, you know, feel free to watch out for that one. Um, and that'll be obviously paired with a song too. So um, doing some some new type of new, new type times, of songwriting. Right? I think my music so far has been like very just really weird and <laughs> not really like I've not really stuck to a certain sound or a theme, yeah. which is kind of like my personality in a sense because I don't really – I kind of just am interested by everything. Like – I just nerd out about the most random stuff. Beautiful way to think, man. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, so this this new song I've got that I'm planning to release um, towards the end of the year is, like, kind of directed more towards, like, the indie indie rock kind of style. Cool. Which is, which is kind of cool because maybe, maybe I've just been listening to too much Archie. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe I've just been drawn into All four songs on Spotify. <laughs> maybe, maybe I just want to join Archie one day. Um, I mean, you pretty much are. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that yeah, that's um, that's one to look out for. But um, apart from that, just gonna be, just gonna be working working on a few stuff and maybe release a song before that. And yeah, beautiful, bro, awesome. Yeah. What about what about what about you? You got any plans for for the band? Ah, uh, man, there's always there's always goals that we want to achieve, and um, mm. we've been lucky enough to be um, put on the uh, on the lineup for for Stonefest Ooh, later this nice. year. Mm. Uh, we got our fingers crossed. You. Uh, it's going to be a beautiful show. Um, so privileged and, and lucky that we managed to get a spot on that. Um, shout out to everybody at UC. Kel's keeping Canberra Music alive mm. over there. Um, Such an iconic uh, event festival for yeah, Canberra. Yeah, like, absolutely. And they've brought it back somewhat, haven't they? Yeah, Is there was like some yeah. uh, like uh, super early one. I think it's Stonefest. Yeah. It was like uh, they celebrated the laying of a foundation yeah, stone yeah, yeah. at, at oh. UC or something. Yeah. I'm not sure. Was exactly, that, oh. but that's uh, it used my to guess. be. It used to be like a couple of day festival, and really? it was yeah, it was a huge, huge festival, and then they've it went away for a bit, and I'm I'm guessing it's coming back. Yeah, right. Yeah. And I'm sure COVID probably would have helped last year as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, um, fingers crossed that it'll happen. But whenever it happens, it'll happen. It'll be a great show. Nice. Um, mm. It'll be so exciting. Um, so that's one we're really looking forward oh, yeah. to, and um, get nice and polished, ready for that performance. Mm. Um, but yeah, it's just making, making more music, recording more music and, nice. and getting it out as quick as we can. It's, it's actually a long process. Um, and there's a lot of, I mean, I'm sure you know, but like there's so many elements to it to make sure it goes well. Mm. Um, I think people are often like, why does it take so long for, <laughs> for you to be like, you're recording this song. You did that last week. Why isn't it out? You know? Yeah. Once you write the song, it shouldn't be Yeah. Done. Come on. <laughs> isn't it? Why, why isn't it out? But yeah, it's actually a long process, but mm. it's worth it. Um, you know, these songs like children, song babies. So yeah. you want to make sure that Take they get the best it. opportunity, you know. And um, to, since to obviously since you guys are like obviously having to put work, not just into the song, but into promotion and. Yeah, totally. Tons of art and social media. Yeah, and stuff. getting a video ready, getting yeah. press shots, um, you yeah. know, all that sort of stuff that I didn't think about before. But yeah, <laughs> I definitely do now. Mm. Um, but that's, that's really exciting. It's it, that's one of the coolest things about this career avenue is that there's so many you know little bits of other stuff in there too. Mm. Like if you're interested in design or fashion, you can you know, mm. do your own merch, which Ooh. is super cool. You know, um, if you're interested in directing and stuff you can direct your own music videos there's so many so many elements that come to making a song what it is you know sure um which is awfully exciting so yeah man just record release um and play shows for as long as we can um <laughs> it's it, yeah it's it's a it's a dream we're living oh uh, yeah you know, and we wouldn't sure. be able to do it without the support of our amazing team and and, nice. and the fans the people man. yeah it's 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 wicked so awesome, man. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we might just take a quick break for, for uh, a minute and no get back to you soon. Beautiful. Sure. Can't wait. Just a quick shout out to our sponsor, Capital Brewing. They're back for this episode. We've got another promo code for you, mustardflats at capitalbrewing.co for 10% off in store. So just use that code mustardflats at the uh, checkout and you'll save 10% of all your beers and merch, free shipping on the beers. So get in there by Saturday and you can grab yourself something cool. Also over on Instagram at Capital Brewing and uh, they're up in the snow at the moment, uh, putting up a new bar, so check it out. They're always supporting the community here, so by supporting them, you'll be supporting us too. So head on over to 
capitalbrewing.co for 10% off in store by using the code mustardflats and uh, we'll get back to it yeah so one thing i wanted to ask about um on that note about gigs and stuff coming up Mm. what's it kind of like at the moment like everyone's talking about covid obviously but what's it kind of been like where you don't know if your shows are going to go ahead is that playing on your mind all the time you would have lost quite a few gigs right yeah i think i mean maybe during i think during covid initially when it happened it was kind of like everything was just cancelled at at once Mm. Yeah. Especially when they had that first, you know, when we had the first waves. Yeah. Um, so I guess at the time I I was kind of a little bummed out, but also kind of was like, you know, this might be a good opportunity to mm. to um just kind of take a break and totally just work on other stuff. Um but definitely recently um we had a show that was like I think it was meant to be um Lisa Sugarman at something at Sideway. Mm. And um yeah, just j- I think at the time there were just really heavy restrictions and we were like, it was kind of up in the air whether it was going to be cancelled or not. So I was, it's kind of like a, it's an interesting thing because, um, you know, I've, I'm always keen to do a show and I always wanted to go ahead, but also yeah. logistically, you know, if something can't work out, mm. totally. sometimes it's better to call it off. Um, totally. But I think it's good maybe just to always like stay prepared, you know, because anything, anything could happen. Anything Some, could happen. could just happen and then you'd be like, oh, it's on. <laughs> it's yeah. on. Because so that, yeah. that seems to be yeah. what's shifted a little bit is before it was just like, yeah, everything's cancelled. Mm. Now it's like you're booking these shows and you just yeah, uh, you have no that, idea yeah. if your support's going to make it, if the yeah. drummer yeah. from yeah. Greater Sydney's going to make it. Like It's it's kind of a different ball game now. Totally. True. I think one of the weirdest things that I've experienced about it is like Canberra hasn't had any – like it hasn't been as hard on us True. as it has mm. in a lot of other states. Yeah. So for us promoting, playing shows and, and really pushing, you know, ticket sales and stuff, it does feel quite weird um, to be doing that in a time where there's so many musician friends of mine mm. that can't do yeah, a show at all. And I feel like that, yeah. a little bit bad being like, come to our show, you know, come do this, sending out invites and people are like, oh, sorry, I'm, I'm locked down. Uh, <laughs> I'm like... Oh. My apologies. <laughs> um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, as long as we're able to play shows, we'll be playing shows. Mm-hmm. Um, and obviously following, you know, the health guidelines true, um, true. closely. But um, now I'm, I'm looking forward to a time where I don't have to worry about this yeah. as much as I do at the moment. Um, but, you know, I think now it's adapt like, and overcome. Mm. Um, musicians will always find a way. Yeah. Um, yeah. I was going to say, I think now it's like, yeah, we're at a point where it's kind of like if you have a gig, it's just you're, you're, you're to take it. Like, yeah, there's there's just so many like there's like no excuse to not take a gig. Absolutely, <laughs> and, yeah, um, it's such a privilege to still yeah. be able to play um, when just, we weren't just playing. Book, for book them like long. close, like yeah. in a yeah. short amount of time. Like, yeah, so yeah, let's just do a run of shows. Yeah, yeah, three shows and. But you're right in the sense days. that people, a lot of people, probably are like going to be pulling out due to specific reasons mm. or due to oh like i went to sydney last weekend <laughs> totally. or like you know so um i think it maybe it's nice because you know there's there's people like you wouldn't expect to be doing a show that had just been called on last minute yeah like i guess a good example is me doing the archie show where i was like <laughs> i was so keen like i bought my ticket so <laughs> i was so keen to just like That's get up punter. there and dance yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah and then and then i got a message and i was like oh Oh, I'm gonna be playing. Oh, cool. Wicked. <laughs> cool. Um, and I think that's good because, like, it's a nice opportunity for maybe small artists to yeah to kind of um, build up some confidence and you know in this period where not many performances are being held, totally. just being able to go up on stage is nice. Um, I think so I know the, that's yeah happening, uh, happening around across Canberra as well. A lot of totally. people just jumping up. I think the average Joe in Canberra doesn't really know a lot about the local music, mm. um, so it's like sort of forced learning if they yeah. want to go to any <laughs> live music at the moment it's in canberra um and it's going to be local yeah, yeah. And it's going to be local mm. so you know there's always blessings uh, to take out of these For things sure. um at least that's the way i like to view yeah. things greener on the other side it is greener <laughs> on the other side that's what the song was written about you know <laughs> choosing to choosing to view things with a positive outlook mm. yeah. that's the way to do it yeah and you guys both got into the live stream shows too. Are we going to see any more of those? Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was a crazy <laughs> setup. 
that uh, Live in Your Lounge had. That was... Oh, so cool. That was so much fun. Um, and that was like the first time we'd played in a fair while. Mm. Um, and it was so cool to be able to do that and do that in a different setting. Um, yeah. And what that meant for people too, like, you know, people gathering around a TV, having a couple <laughs> of drinks together, watching us on TV. Yeah. It's, it's, it was super bizarre, but really cool. Um, Seems like so long ago too it now. Live it really around. does. I'm just trying to think back Man. to like... Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That was actually the first time like Lucy reached out to me and asked me to play an event. Oh, wow. Which was like, yeah, just in the start of COVID, which is kind of for, great. For that set. About, yeah, just for that yeah. set. Um, yeah, but that whole setup um, from yeah, the guys at Live in the Land was awesome. Really good idea as well. Great idea. Really and good. honestly, like if there was a way to make it possible to have yeah. that running all the time would be wicked. I because it was so funny, cool to come yeah. home and be able to watch – Live music from yeah. Canberra from my home too. Um, and so many so many amazing acts on there too. Yeah, that just goes to show the the, the number of uh, incredible musicians that we have mm. here in Canberra sure. is that they just never ran out of people to put on yeah, the show. No, there's because, still so more they could have put yeah, on as well. Yeah, there's so many more. Oh. Um, but um, yeah, really thankful for the Live in Your Lounge crew to, yeah. to help us out. I mean, it felt so good to be back performing somewhat. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Live streams are cool, but they're also um, tricky in terms of like producing good quality sounds and making sure that everybody receives them. Yeah. In, in a quality manner. And, and I guess different from different from performing live. Totally, definitely. totally. Yeah. I get a lot of my energy when I play live from people in the yeah. crowd yeah. and the rest of the crew on stage <laughs> too. Uh, yeah. I mean, we can only do so much. Mm. Um, but you always you always bring like a very like high amount of energy Thank to, you, to your performances, which is something I've always enjoyed. Thank you, Especially bro. watching Archie is like, not only is everyone really good at what they do, but you've got like a lead singer who's just like always bringing oh, you know, a lot of energy, which is nice. Thank and even, so much, um, I think you were playing some of their Lime Cordial live stream before. <laughs> even in that one, it was so fun to watch. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, how, how did that story unfold? Like, how, how did you guys get in contact with? That was crazy. Um, uh, it was just like, Right place, right time, I mm. think. Liv met somebody. Oh, there we are. Oh. Uh, Liv met somebody who knew somebody uh -huh. that was looking for bands. And <laughs> and they were like, oh, Liv, do you know any bands? And Liv was like, I'm in a band. <laughs> um, and we, yeah, we, we shot our shot. And oh, we were selected to, to play this stream um, with oh, this Mercury. Is in here too. Yeah, this is early days greener. Yeah. Look at look at the, look at the hair on everyone. Look at yeah, <laughs> look at the hair on everyone. Look at your hair, Grant. Damn, Mamma Mia. I haven't. Um, oh wow. But that's the same same backyard as the music video. Um, yes, yep. Sandy's parents' house. Uh, it's, it's where we rehearsed for for many many gigs. But this Close is so it. crazy to watch back. I haven't yeah. seen this in so long. It was unreal. Um, that's an awesome story. It was actually a live in your lounge that we found out that we were going to be doing this. No way. Um, because they'd sent it through and we were like sort of speaking about like like trying to lock it in and be like, you know, let us in. It would be so dope to play a show with Lime Cordial. Um, and then a manager at the time, Billy, showed us this video of Lime Cordial being like, hey, what's up, Archie? How are you? <laughs> oh, no. We've been listening to it's music. So and I, I was like, oh, my God, this is crazy. <laughs> I've um, been freaking out. I like, was Whoa. freaking out. And that yeah. video is still watched quite regularly yeah. uh, by me. Um, <laughs> big fan of that video. You every night for your bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sweet, sweet, sweet Ollie yeah. and Louie. Oh. Um, but, yeah, we were really proud of what we put together that day. And we and we played this arrangement um, quite a quite a bit at, at the live shows and people always love Lime Cordial's music in the mm. live shows. So, um, can't really go wrong. That's um, awesome. But yeah, so, so blessed. I mean, that opportunity wouldn't have happened if it weren't for COVID. Um, so True. in a way because of COVID Lime Cordial said our band name, which is <laughs> sick. They listen to our music, which oh, is sick. nuts. Um, and we got to meet them, yeah. which was, I mean, virtually, um, but, um, yeah, it was, it was, it was a blessing. Yeah. Uh, a random turn of events, but I'm very so grateful sick. for it to happen. Yeah. It was, um, it was awesome. Yeah. And like, I guess back to what we're talking about when it comes to performing live and, and doing live streams, yeah. I guess it's nice to be able to do stuff, I guess, you know, in person again. Totally. Cause you've kind of 
gone from doing stuff normally and it's like, oh, you know, well, like, you know, just play concert. It's normal. Totally, and then man. everything's gone online. And you're like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen like, I a, never another knew human. And how much it, it meant <laughs> yeah. to me to be able to be on a stage like, you know, exactly. once every two weeks or so. Like, it really impacted me when I couldn't do that. Mm. Um, I mean, there was a lot of change in the world happening when we first sort of had to stop doing things. Mm -hmm. um, but like my mental health took a turn. I was like, man, I can't, I can't do what I love to do mm -hmm. anymore um, at this point in time. Um, so I, that was a good thing for me to be like, wow, this actually really means a lot to you. Don't take the next show you play for granted. Yeah. Um, and ever since then, I've had more fun on stage than I ever have because I'm so grateful that I get to get to do it and I don't know if I'll get to do it again, you know? <laughs> so I'm making the most of every show and, um, you know, riding that high. Um, so cool. Yeah. Like, it's so awesome. There's a bit of, bit of a kick in the ass maybe. It was a big kick in the ass. Yeah. Big kick in the ass. Yeah. Because um, now we just, yeah, appreciate it so much. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's like going, yeah, going from like some a place where we just could not get out of the house and then now it's like everything feels awesome to yeah. do because... Yeah, it's just such a great... Did you write a lot in that sort of period where we couldn't really leave? I did. I, wanna, I don't want to really want to call it a lockdown because <laughs> it wasn't really... It was like, kinda. yeah. Kind of. It was like, it was that, that whole... I think we were, a lot of us weren't used to it at that start point because totally. we were like, what are the specifics? Like, can we go to Woolworths? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> can we go to like, you know... Um, so yeah, yeah. well, I was writing um, quite a lot during that period just because I felt like I got into a bit of a rut where... I think the first few weeks, you're like, oh, this is sick. I could just stay home <laughs> and, like, you know, jump on the Xbox. Yeah, yeah, like, that's oh, it. No play some Warzone. Like, yeah, play, play, yeah. Some, play some Apex, play some Minecraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're like, and then after a few days, you're like, I don't think I've showered. I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm like, I probably should do something with my time. Yeah. Um, so I was writing a fair bit, and that's when I did my, decided to write my song, um, or finish my song called I Feel Like Shit. And um, <laughs> <It's a beautiful laughs> song. it's really funny. Every time I say it, I always feel really bad because I realize that when I'm singing it now, I'm good. There's going to be kids inevitably hearing that. <laughs> and I feel really bad for all the parents who are like taking <laughs> You are too <laughs> sweet, dude. It's just like I have to warn people before I sing it. Um, but yeah, so that song I wrote. But I, I just want to remind you that oh, yeah. WAP exists. Oh, true, right, true. So, yeah, yeah, true, you true. Know. And at least they've censored that. Like, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you're right, you're right. There are a lot of, a lot of worse songs. Um, but yeah, I wrote that. The beginning of that song, um, at the end of Kind of Your 12. Yeah. Um, oh, <laughs> here it is. He's too good. Um, and I kind of sat down. It was like after one of my periods at school and just sat down and like just started playing the guitar. Yeah. And at the time, I actually was feeling pretty shit. I was just didn't know why. Yeah. And I think everyone has these times where you're just like, damn, I don't know what's bothering me, but there's totally, something that's man. like weighing on me. Um, so I just like came up with the, those first chords and... Then just literally was like, I feel like shit. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, nah, I'm, not, I'm gonna scrap that line. That's a really bad line. And then decided to just keep that scene for the whole rest of the song. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, oh, well, it was meant to a song. Um, I don't know if you guys have heard John Mayer's, uh, oh, what's the song he does? Probably. Um, I guess I just feel like by John yeah. Mayer. I don't know if you guys know that song. Yeah. Um, I kind of took a bit of that intro acoustic influence from that song because his song is like super stripped back and then it kind of builds up yeah. into this like you know massive he's doing like a blues guitar solo um so with this song i really wanted to to kind of build it up into a point where you feel like everything is everything that you're feeling is just into this one massive moment and then it kind of just fades down and then you realize you know it's okay like it's fine um this video was really fun to do. <laughs> this is this an ISO video? Yeah. Uh, you can tell it's an ISO video because yeah. I'm in the same clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I probably, like, yeah, this is me at home, just in the living room. And I got my dad to just set up the camera, <laughs> the camera for me. And I actually figured out, I had never done video editing before oh, yeah. until this <laughs> moment here. And I, I just wanted to get all these squares done. And it was yeah. such a hard process. <laughs> like, I don't know if people out there realize how hard it is to edit videos, but like when you're learning, it's like nothing else. It's like yeah, yeah, yeah. everything is so specific and fragile. And I don't know. I have a lot of respect for video. Just, um, Big time. But Big yeah, time. this is real fun to do. I don't know why I'm wearing those glasses. I love that fit, bro. <laughs> I love that fit. It's so random. Um, <laughs> yeah, this video is so funny. It's, look, even the shading on the wall is different. <laughs> this is so Jacob Collier. It's yeah, beautiful. actually, there's a bit of, a lot of influence from it. I, I like it because a lot of people think you need to put in all this you know, effort to every yeah. single video you do. 
but sometimes something simple can be just totally. as effective like, sure. and if not more effective like, mm. and for this song particularly it works really well <laughs> thank yeah. you so much oh I'm glad you know people people like it and um, I it, love it this does guy. look very. I, I love this guy. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's the bass man. <laughs> also, all the bass players are the coolest dudes or, or girls. Um, but yeah, I think this video is kind of. I think it speaks to just a lot of people in lockdown who are just stuck in. Yeah. And it's just kind of like a <laughs> little cheeky, cheeky video to go with the song. Um, but you're right. You don't really need a big budget for videos and you don't need a. You don't need to do all these crazy stuff. Mm. Um, At least don't let it hold you back. Yeah, from yeah. Totally. not putting out anything. For yeah, exactly. Sometimes, yeah. Totally. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I respect that. Obviously, people have visions for stuff, and some people might just want to get this like, specific thing. Yeah. Um, I guess for me at the time, I was just like, "What can I do at home?" And yeah. I was like, "I could just film myself singing it." <laughs> it's um, beautiful, brother. Thanks, man. That was a lot of fun. Can see this blowing up on TikTok. Like, you <laughs> yeah, know, yeah, get, yeah. Get, get the re-edit up there. Damn, I should, <laughs> that's you know I know what I'm doing when I'm getting home now. Um, <laughs> yeah. Dude, you should honestly make TikToks. <laughs> I should. I, I I I made one TikTok like ages ago, back when it was like kind of like, yeah. getting popular. You know, like it had like yeah, yeah, that yeah. massive wave of everyone mm -hmm. was on TikTok, and I was like, oh, I'll just make one TikTok and like it was like a stupid video of me like pulling out of a wa pulling out of water from like a like a coals aisle yeah like one of the coals waters <laughs> and then i was like this is how you get your cold your cold water guys and then i like put it into the freezer <laughs> and then i was like now nah, just wait like five minutes and then you'll go out of the cold water because you know how all the, bottle, all the frozen water all the cold waters they're all in that little bit when you yeah, check yeah, out yeah, yeah, yeah. and they're all like triple the price yeah absolutely so, so i put that on tiktok and then it got like a crazy amount of views and i was like is this Am I going viral right now? And I was like, this, <laughs> what? And then yeah, I tried, like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then I tried doing music TikToks like for like a like a small mm. amount of time, mm. and just didn't get any traction. And I was like, oh, Dope. maybe people just like just the weirdest stuff but on TikTok. <laughs> but I definitely should post some stuff on there. And it's a great um, platform. I know Archie's on TikTok. I've seen yeah. a few of their TikToks. I I mean I, I got no idea how TikTok works. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> But so, uh, we're, tr we're trying, wild, we're learning. Wild. Reels, <laughs> man, Liv coaches me through all yeah, this yeah. stuff. <laughs> I'm like, how do you make the text appear at this point? And she's like, oh, you do this? And I'm like, oh, whoa. It's a game changer. It's, but it's, it's amazing. Yeah. Eh? It's like Everyone's so... becoming editors and yeah. Yeah. videographers. and It's, it's crazy. It's awesome. I feel like TikTok is like a, um, like a just a slippery slope because if you start, like when I, when yeah. I download the app, I like was just on there every day. <laughs> and I think I saved at least 400 videos <laughs> to my phone. Cause like, you know how like you, you see TikTok and you're like, probably oh, never gonna funny. see this yeah, again. Yeah, right. So then you like, you save it for later and then you end up just saving all these videos. And so at some point I had to just like, just say, okay, you know what? I'm gonna not have this on my phone page. <laughs> I'm gonna borrow it deep in the corner. So mm. I don't see it every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like such as social media, you know? Yeah, I sometimes do the yourself. app reshuffle. Yeah, yeah, like because I get in the routine of just like swiping, <laughs> pressing that box, and then getting into Instagram. Whereas yeah. like if I move it somewhere uh, else, then I'm like, oh, now I process the thought of I'm just going onto Instagram, just like <laughs> out of routine. That's yeah, a like, good. Yeah. That's a good idea. Then I think about yeah. it. I'm like, do I actually want to be on Instagram right now? And then if I do, then I go on. If just, I don't, then you know, have you take ever, a break. Have you ever closed the app? And then immediately tap the app yep, again. Yep, <laughs> yep. I've done that before. Yep. And I'm like, what am I doing? Like, why? Why is my, <laughs> why is the, my brain like the, this? the screen time thing? It's ruining oh, my life. No, I've, I don't look at that. It's scary. Yeah. It's so scary. It's it hurts. It hurts. And then I'm like, oh, you know, I've got to post on Instagram for Archie. That's why it's. <laughs> oh yeah. That's it's why business. it's so much. Yeah, it's it's the, po the post is going to take 20 one, mid, 21 hours a week. Me yeah. at 3 a.m. Just like, <laughs> I don't care about anything that I'm looking at, but I'm yeah. still scrolling. Oh, it's funny. Yeah, man, it's oh. a trap. It's a trap, but it's it's we wouldn't be able to do what oh. we do today without it. I think social media is so important, especially for, for it's crazy. what we do. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, it's yeah, it's probably like so, like just as like I think uh, like twenty years ago, mm. it was so important to have distributing deals and like knowing people and because mm. a lot of it was physical, but now that everything's like online and most people are just streaming yeah, it's just, like i could just dm snoop dog yeah <laughs> today if i wanted you could, to you could. i think yeah it's, it's crazy how like how much the industry has changed in the sense that like everything a lot of the marketing is just you can do it all yourself now yeah where it's like you don't need you don't need to hire people like a, i mean you probably do need a team but you, you probably like don't need to hire a whole like team of people to manage all these different all this different stuff it's yeah. like a lot of it's like the social media stuff you can just kind of do yourself yeah. you find people often appreciate 
when you're transparent like Absolutely. it's not just like just posts about gigs and then like like Kobe family will be performing this it'll be like people just appreciate when you're just yourself yeah I think that's, yeah, that's really cool and when you're not a bot yeah saying <laughs> hey listen to this my new yeah. song here I'm like who are you mm. hey we get so many of we're getting so many of the uh dm for collab <laughs> yeah. stuff at the moment like oh, yeah. do you know how to get like yeah. Get rid of that? Do you get yeah. that? Or, I just I saw, oh, what are the, it could be a game changer, man. Like, that yeah, maybe I next, should DM yeah, them for yeah. the collab. Yeah. I love how they like one photo <laughs> and they're like, oh, love your work. Let's collab. Yeah, I'm then, like, sweet. Let's do it. DM us. <laughs> um, we want you to be a brand ambassador. <laughs> yeah, we got some, I remember, we got oh. some old email back when we first started Archie from like some swimwear company in Sweden really? or something. Asking if we wanted to be, uh, you know, like to do one post and get like a, a code <laughs> for fifteen percent off, and I was like, cool, uh, but it was exclusive. It was just, it was just women's swimwear, <laughs> and I was like, have you looked at you, uh, at who you're you sending like, an email yes, to? You're exactly what we're after. <laughs> if they're exact, oh. if I'm exactly what they're after to promote women's swimwear, it's. it's Can you imagine you're doing a photo uh -huh. shoot with like oh, all, no. just all oh. women swimwear? It's too, and you're just like it's, it's too real <laughs> singing one of your songs <laughs> your guitars and stuff oh, uh, needless to say we are and we all we need is that digital credit card details yeah. details <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 send us four thousand dollars in itunes vouchers <laughs> <laughs> oh no anyway, itunes vouchers oh my lord man i think itunes is like i just forgot about itunes but it's still a thing like people mm. still use it a lot mm. um it's cool it's i think it's funny how like iTunes and Apple Music are separate still. Because yeah, it's like weird. you pay to stream on um, Apple Music, but then you can actually buy the songs on iTunes. Yeah. I bought a couple songs because I like to DJ sometimes. Oh, nice. Um, and I bought a couple songs in there. I was like, yeah, if I just buy them here, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. And I can put them into you know the, the software I use. But yeah, no, so they're all encoded. Oh, really? So I spent mm. like... Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, it was probably only like 12 bucks on yeah, a couple tunes that yeah, I wanted yeah. a good quality, uh -huh. you know recording of and you can't and i can't off. use them oh no i got that let's get down let's get down that one. Oh yeah, yeah that yeah. one nice uh but i can't use it so that sucks yeah, yeah it is how it is i think gone gone too soon 12 dollars go on to the days of like downloading mp3s off like frostwire <laughs> or something <laughs> like lime wire yeah, yeah lime the wire. hustle the hustle dude it was like i would go through yeah it was like some tunes <laughs> you download yeah. on your laptop and then either like sneak it on the ipod or like mm. you'd, you'd burn it on a cd go to the car oh. like yeah oh yeah i've got like bruno mars's new album <laughs> like, <laughs> or like i don't know usher's new song oh yeah usher was <laughs> yeah. huge oh, usher's i listened to a lot of usher as a kid yeah man same usher was dope Going nowhere to oh, that song is crazy. <laughs> that chorus melody. Oh, crazy! Fire. Yeah, but yeah, super interesting how like everything's kind of just progressed into the where we are now. It's extremely totally. and stuff. Totally, it's I think it's so game. cool that like we can have a page mm. where people follow and they can find all of our information yeah. as well as like learn about who we are as people too. Of course. Um, but um, yeah, it's I hard. It's hard to. It, it, I have a lot of respect for influences and, mm. and stuff now because I don't want to be on my phone all the time <laughs> taking, you know, yeah. time out to make a post or, you know, put something in a story constantly. It's like quite draining. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a full on task. Yeah, for sure. Um, a task that I'm not very good at, but I'm trying. Getting better, <laughs> getting better. It's something you have to learn. Hey, yeah. like despite what yep. your personality might be, you have to like get on got to post yeah sometimes like you get, like sometimes i find myself just forgetting to post yeah or i'll just share some of my story and then i'll forget to post for like a few weeks and i'm like yeah. oh yeah. people probably think <laughs> i feel like, like for us too anything. like we have the privilege of you know being able to play a show and then some epic photographer is taking yeah. epic photos of us surely out of anybody that's posting on social media it should be us with the it epic photos us. that we get you know? i'm a dm harry right now uh, yeah all right. Home we, we go home we'll <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah yeah um but you're right it is like I think it's it's like sort of a grind to, to grow your social media, yeah, but it's totally. also like I think it's easier than ever to just randomly blow up. Yeah, and than you can it was like before. Randomly do random work too. Like yeah. you can just promote yourself as a you know like you see a lot of producers that are just like here's some beats that I made. Yeah, put them up and then it's cool. You know, next step they're they're blowing up. Mm. Yeah, um, the gig really economy cool. of just like being able to do little side hustles and yeah, totally stuff like that. Being able mm. to communicate with artists like on somewhat the same level um, mm -hmm. in different states, just like hearing what it's like over there and 
you know, getting your name heard. So when you, know, you play a show in their area, they're like, oh, yeah, I'll come to that. I've spoken to them on Instagram. Yeah. That's always a weird thing, like meeting people. Oh, yeah. After, you, yeah. after you've <laughs> met them online yeah. and, then you, and then you meet them in person, it's always, yeah. it's always a bit odd. But Yeah, like Zoom call or something. and then Yeah, Zoom calls. And then you're like, oh, you look a lot shorter than us. <laughs> 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 you look a lot taller than, I, than, when, than when you looked on Zoom. Oh, um, yeah, no, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I think during this whole COVID thing, it's like you've 